Hello marine biology people. Today I want to talk to you about Echinodermata. Echino means spiny, derma means skin. These are the spiny skinned animals. Echinoderms are the sea stars, the brittle stars, the sea urchins, and that sexy sea cucumber. These guys have very strange bodies. They're in a pentamerous body shape, meaning that it's usually in the shape of a five. Just think of like the rays of a sea star. These guys have no blood. They have a water vascular system, which means that they just pump seawater through their veins to help move and exchange nutrients throughout their body. They have no brain. They don't have a front and a back. They don't have a head and a tail. Instead, we just think of them as having an oral and an aboral end, a mouth end and a non-mouth end. They move around with what we call tube feet. They have thousands of these tube feet that are pumping full of water in order to move. They have a little pump at the top of each tube foot called an ampullae. Not just are sea stars covered in these tube feet, but so are sea urchins, so are sea cucumbers. All of our echinoderms are covered in these tube feet. Let's start by talking about a few classes of echinoderms. The first one is Asteroidea. Astro meaning star, Asteroidea are the sea stars. The sea stars are probably the most famous echinoderm. These guys, like all echinoderms, have no brain, so they don't have a head, they don't have a front end or a back end. Instead, they have an oral side and an aboral side, so mouth side and no mouth side. The top part that you look at, the part that's in the shape of a five, these are rays. They are not legs. We call these rays. Instead, underneath the rays are thousands of tube feet for locomotion. The sea stars, like all echinoderms, they have a water vascular system, so they're pulling in water through a madreporite. They pull in the water from the ocean, and then they use this for their vascular system. Our next class of echinoderms is the Ophiroidea. These guys are the brittle stars. They look like sea stars, but they are not. They have really skinny rays when you compare them to a sea star. Another big difference is sea stars have an eye at the end of every ray. These guys do not. Our next class of echinoderm is Echinoidea. Echinoidea are gonna be the sea urchins and sand dollars. Sea urchins are a big spiny ball. These guys also have tube feet all with inside their spines. These guys will wreak havoc on kelp forests. They chew at the base of kelp, separating them from their holdfast, and then the kelp float away. Sea otters are a great keystone species that help us keep down the number of sea urchins. And our last class of echinoderms, my favorite is Holothuroidea, the majestic sea cucumber. Oh, hello. It must be time for another Mr. Bird fun fact. When a sea cucumber is threatened or attacked, it can expel its intestines out of its anus, creating this web of intestines that the predator can get trapped in and die. Mr. Bird fun fact. Most sea cucumbers are filter feeders. They release these large mouth parts that they use in order to filter the water and catch any food particles floating around. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick introduction to Echinodermata. I'll see you guys next time.